This is the photo of myself that I took during my first Antarctic expedition. That was an amazing place that was close to the glacier. And I was investigating glacier and I found this ice cave. So it was hard to not to check what's inside. So I took my camera and then I was blown away seeing this glass world. My friend, he was uh, doing some survey around and I spent some time exploring this little cave. We find that cave is pretty long, so we explore about 250 meters of ice cave. That was really, really amazing because I've never seen anything like this. That photo was taken during my Antarctic expedition to Detroit Plateau. Unfortunately, we spent 17 days in tents waiting for good weather that we can take and back to Antarctic base. When we went to the field, we didn't expect bad weather is coming. So we started doing our research and two days after we saw big clouds on the horizon so we back to our base and few hours later the giant storm developed so we were trapped in our tents for a number of days so just before end of the storm the the wind come down and just we went out from the tents and we saw beautiful sunset that was one of the most beautiful sunsets i've ever seen Last summer, on the way to Europe, I used to buy on Iceland with my kids to show them what I saw 15 years ago. So I was very excited to share Iceland with them. So we rent a car and we went for a trip around the island. One of the days they were very bored, so we stopped by when we saw horses on the horizon. So they were very excited. We just walk next to the fence and the horses came closer. And my kids, they were very, very excited. Uh, just to be close, that beautiful animals. One of May evenings, I went for a walk with my family and uh, we stopped by in the woods. My kids start playing and then I thought that they would be bored, but they found uh, a couple of places that they really like and they were jumping and discovering what they find in the woods. I saw my daughter blowing the dental line and my son, he was trying to catch the seeds. That was really, really amazing because I saw them really happy, just in beautiful scenery. Volunteer Point on Falkland Islands, it's one of my favorite places. I was so surprised when I went there. I didn't expect what I've seen. The beach looks like a tropical place. In fact, Falklands, they pretty cold islands. So knowing that penguins live there and seeing them in that scenery just blew me away. This photo was taken during our drilling campaign on Tupungatito Glacier. Lucky after two or three reconnaissance expeditions, we transport all our equipment on the drill site. And during that year, we had beautiful weather. So at the night, we had like beautiful moonlight and stars. And every day, beautiful weather just allow us to drill and we finish our work pretty quickly. So very often during the expedition, just I try to check how the landscape looks like even at the night so very often i wake up do some series of shots time lapses that allows me to see places from different perspective and different sides so it's it's amazing to see that remote place in like different light like night light and you can feel how quiet it is because very often during the day we have pretty strong winds and clouds going over it's so different but beautiful as well I met that lady on my trip to Nepal in Langtang Valley. So one of the day of hiking, I stopped by a looking place where I can find food. So she invited me inside her house and then she said she can prepare a meal. During that time, she was telling story of her family, how they moved from Tibet to Nepal in the 50s. So her parents ran away from China and they just live in Nepal. So she was born in China, but now she's living in Nepal. Unfortunately, a couple years later, there was a big earthquake in Nepal and all her village was completely destroyed. I hope she survived it. I've never heard anything back from her. Even I just tried to co contact with her, sending postcards and letters, but I don't know. I hope she's okay. Same trip to Nepal, I was able to visit one of the national parks where guys daily come with their elephants and just clean them and elephants take a bath. So it's it's crazy view because you don't expect that they so playful animals. So I thought it's just daily routine for them, but 
it's clear you can see that they having fun every time when they come to the water and they have really good contact with their owners. During the day elephants helping in the woods but each morning and each afternoon just they having fun in the river. During my ex Antarctic expedition with Polish Academy of Science I was responsible for environmental observations and counting sea mammals. So every week I had to walk across the coast about 17 kilometers and count each sea mammal I found on my way. But also during the winter when ice pack appeared and uh, Admiralty Bay was frozen, one of the days when I was crossing the bay I found air hole next to the iceberg and I saw seals playing next to the air hole. So next day I back with my diving equipment and I just decide to see their world. It was amazing experience because they very curious animals so they come close they not danger and they clearly want to play with me. Some of them they try to keep a distance because they just produce bubbles so it's a clear sign just stay away. Also just playing with them I was afraid that maybe some other predator may come as a uh, leopard seal or maybe killer whale but lucky nothing like that happened. During winter, doing my work, counting sea mammals, every time I have to stop, on the way back, I have to stop in the little hut. It's kind of shelter place. So unfortunately, one evening, the wind picked up so badly that I have to stay there for a couple of days. And this shelter is very close to the shore. So I was able to just watch big waves and giant icebergs crossing the Bransfield Strait. After the first drilling campaign on Tupungatito Glacier, on the way back I stopped by on Atacama Desert. There was a dream that I wanna realize, I wanna try to find one of the Milak meteorites. So me and my friend, we travel up north to see if we can find anything there. We rent a car and for a couple of days we were traveling around the Atacama. Of course, at the night, it's hard to stay in a tent because the, the, the skylight it's so beautiful that the sky milk, it's, it's over your head. You have feeling that you can touch the, the, the stars. And lucky that day we didn't have any moon. So we can enjoy beautiful sky overhead and see Magellan clouds. This photo was taken during Circumpolar Antarctic expedition that I just got back from. And we use helicopter to explore new places and trying to find good drill site for our project. This picture was taken close to South Sandwich Island. We were not able to fly over the islands because the cloud cover, but we are investigating the size of the icebergs. That picture was taken on our drill site. We are moving our equipment from, from the boat. It took us almost an hour to find a good landing site because weather changed very quickly in Antarctica. So we are afraid that if we land too high, the clouds cover us and then helicopter will have a trouble to pick up us back to the boat. So finally we decided to land on the lower side on the island but we didn't risk that we may stuck there. So it took two hours to move all equipment and start drilling process. After four or five hours we complete our work and safely back to the ship. On the way back to the ship from the Northern Skull Glacier we had pretty bad weather and big waves. Pretty much you can see them on a picture, I don't know why, but that was an amazing, amazing trip because very skilled Zodiac drivers from British Antarctic Survey help us to back to the boat safely and really enjoyable. That was a great adventure. Each trip it's a great opportunity to make a pictures that what I really like. It's my hobby and always I feel that I have to carry my camera but you never know what to expect. It's same as this shot. I'm just playing in my tent and reading a book and just one moment I decide to check out how's the weather look like because we are planning to hike higher same day. So I saw my friend taking picture with that beautiful scenery so I can't stop myself to take picture of him with that beautiful landscape. Because I spent so much time on the shore just watching seals and like one moment I found that one is dead and just I back to, to the shelter just get warm and a couple hours later I got back and see that birds uh, just eating dead elephant seal. 
and I was able to crawl really close because um, they were so busy eating and I've never been that close wild birds almost I can touch the beak and they just they completely ignore me that they were that busy eating so it's very difficult to make a, a good penguin shot because it's you don't want to make them that they so obvious and the repeating same thing that you already seen National Geographic or any other uh, website. So very often you stay next to penguin colony looking for any specific moment. So that was very interesting because that that that, that was Chinstrap penguin colony. So I was staying there waiting for my colleague that he was counting uh, seals, and then one moment I saw the penguin parent just rotating the egg and I found oh that there is a crack so I st stay like hour later I saw that the little one hatching from the egg so that was amazing moment because it, it's I'm not sure that you can see that pretty often they just hatching in like one two weeks every year so you have to be right place right moment to see things like this uh, I was taking pictures of elephant seals and um it's great because the young ones, they they more mobile than adult one. So this one is probably like month or one and a half old. So they pretty curious animals. So sometimes they feel lonely. Uh, so they just move, just looking for other pups. And then uh, they try to save heat as well. So they just like laying next to each other. So I was making picture of other elephant seals. And this one just came next to me and just like look at me just like absolutely ignore that I'm human and just stay and just start sleeping so I just passed my camera to my friend and he took that, that picture and that was a really great experience so just I know we, we shouldn't come close to the animals and always I uh, keep that in my mind but when they come to you so I don't want to stress them too much so after that picture I was laying for next 10-15 minutes and the, the seal doesn't move so I just slowly start crawling to not just scare the animal. That was a great experience as well.